Hello my friends and welcome, let's start from the front lines review, let's zoom in to Orihiv because finally Ukraine took some sort of the ground over there, so it was yesterday and it is today, finally we took one of the field over there and moving forward day by day, no changes near to Lobkove, so yesterday today nothing happening, and on a hot spot near to Vilika Novosilka, let's go to the yesterday, there was the green area over here and today the grey area Area extended. But today we got the information that Ukrainian forces went to Staromayorske, the next village down the river. Yes, we don't have the military map update from that direction, but I know that we are moving forward. Also, Ukrainian forces moved to Rivno Peel. The fighting is going very close to that village, and today I'm gonna show you some of the drone screenshots. Plus, today we have the movement near to the Bahmut city. So it was yesterday and it is today, as you can see, Ukraine assaults on this hump over here. We successfully crossed this channel, the water obstacle, and now we are ready to go to Klishivka and we are heading towards it day by day. So today we moved quite a bit forward. Before we continue with the drone images, let me tell you about the partner and the sponsor of my channel, the Atlas VPN. They have the special outstanding discount, especially for my followers and viewers, where you can get the Atlas VPN Premium for just 170 per month, plus 6 months for free. It is the best offer on the market for the premium VPNs. I personally consider the Atlas VPN is the best VPN out there and let me tell you why. Because Atlas VPN has a special design data breach monitoring system, if I have the Atlas VPN warning, then someone tries to reach my device a switch of the public Wi-Fi. Also, Atlas VPN uses the military standard protocols to secure your data and they put firewalls to the government control, annoying ads and hackers. Also, Atlas VPN themselves are unaware of what data is on your device. Basically, they are protecting it without access to your data. Atlas also has awesome feature of the multiple devices support from the single account, so I use Atlas VPN on my iPhone, laptop and iPad. I always keep it on to make sure that my devices are protected. Then I have some free time, I would like to watch my favorite series on the Netflix platform, so not only Atlas VPN gives me the permission to access any kind of series in my country which are blocked or not blocked, but it gives me fantastic streaming speed. My friends, and now please check out my personal link in the video description just below, where you can get the Atlas VPN Premium for just 170 per month, plus 6 months for free. It is the best offer out there, and you can get just with my personal link. This deal is time limited, so hurry up to join the club. So there are the signs that the fighting is ongoing in Rivno Peel and Ukraine for now uses the long-range weaponry like FPV drones. Today the Russian BMP was targeted by the drone and it was the big boom. That's it for the BMP and usually for those operations we use two of the drones. The one drone is like a Mavic type or other DJI type of the drone. It usually flies for quite a lot of time, it has the zoom camera camera, but the FPV drone is like a kamikaze drone with a shell, it just flies and hits the target. Plus, today it was reported that Ukraine demolished many of the Russian armored vehicles near to Opetne. The Opetne is located on the south from Avdiivka, and Russia tried to get Avdiivka under their control with a similar stuff as Bakhmut, but they bogged down and Opetne is over here and Russian vehicles were somewhere in this area. I cannot upload the full videos here, so you may check them out on my Telegram channel that you may find in a video description below. As for the armored vehicles that Ukraine had lost near to Orihiv, we took control over that area and we were able to evacuate those vehicles for the repairs. Before, there was one of the videos published from the Russian side how they entered that area, so they were able to film the scene from the close perspective, but after all, they have to leave, and Russians were not able to capture the army vehicles from Ukraine. 
Simply, they are in lack of the special engineering machines to do so. Ukraine continued to use the Hamas rocket artillery system, so today there was the very interesting video how we targeted three of the Russian artillery systems, Mistah S, with just three Hamas rockets. I'll publish that video on my Telegram channel. Today there was the interesting case with Delim Hanov, who is the right hand of Kadyrov. He is also the main Chechen general. So Kadyrov's battalion is now partially fighting in Ukraine, near to Marinka. But Delim Hanov was far away from that place in his command center, and there were also many of Kadyrovites. So they were just ambushed by the probably storm shadow missiles. Just after it, Kadyrov confirmed that he is unable to reach Dilimhanov using mobile connections, internet or satellite connection. There were reports that Dilimhanov lost his life and also that he is severely wounded. At least the speaker of the Russian Duma, the Russian parliament, said that he got the information that this guy is wounded. Some of the other Chechen officials decided to go to Ukraine and find out where the Dilimhanov is. At the same time, the Russian military bloggers confirmed the ambushment of the base where Dilimhanov was. Finally, this evening, Kadyrov stated that Dilimhanov is okay and he got the connection with him. But you know what? No one shows the video or photo evidence of Dilimhanov being alive and being well today. Probably in a few days those videos or photos will start to appear because they are really into the TikTok and the social media. The Russian side also accused Prigozhin for sharing the exact location where Dilimhanov was in Ukraine. Because before the Chechen general got the conflict with Prigozhin. Well, it is interesting, we'll see how it goes in the future. The last night Russia targeted one of the malls in Odessa and also the residential building nearby. Unfortunately, there are some of the losses. I was personally in that mall many times than I was in Odessa. The mall was fantastic and now it's gone. Ukraine asked Australia for the F-18 fighter jets. According to our estimates, Australia is able to send 40 of those fighter jets. Because the Australian Royal Air Force ordered quite a lot of F-35s, so they don't need F-18s any longer, but F-18 still is the nice fighter jet. According to the Washington Post, Ukraine pays heavy price for moving forward on the south. Yes, Russia got prepared for our counteroffensive, and unfortunately we have severe losses. That's why I'm not the great fan of Ukrainian counteroffensive, but we don't have the other choice. Putin is not willing to withdraw his army from Ukraine. Well, I think that for the main news it's all for today. My friends, don't forget to press the like for this video and check my personal link in the video description just below, where you may get the Atlas VPN Premium with a huge discount. The deal is time limited, so hurry up to join the club. I wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.